I'm Marcus Dragon, also known as Marcus Eikenberry in real life, and uh, today we've got another episode of Building Your Own Computer. I apologize about the way the light is on me, you know, I've got this band going across me and, and um, the lake out there, you know, I turn the velours one way and I get this, if I turn them the other way I get the sun. <laughs> so, and this just happens to be where I'm building the computer, so this is it. Okay, so last uh, installment of this, uh, I said that next I was going to be doing the cooling, and um, that I, I had my um, my water cooling, it was a closed system, not able to run it through the case or anything, it has to stay internal, and the fans here are too big. Uh, the attachments up here are 140 millimeter, and the, and the uh, radiator is 120 millimeter, and so it's not going to fit. Uh, so, I did a couple of things. One is, is that uh, I pulled out a, uh, another fan here, which uh, this is an LGA uh, 2011 um, uh, socket type, and uh, it's going to fit up in here just like this, but it's going to cover, once I put it in, it's going to cover the memory, uh, some of the memory slots, and I don't want to have to work around it. So. I am uh, going to switch to doing the memory next, and then we're going to put this in. And uh, as far as the water cooling, I will be doing the water cooling still. Uh, but I had to order uh, some adapters for that, and uh, it was just crazy expensive to get them shipped in right away. You know, like 40 some dollars uh, for two plastic pieces that cost me just a couple of bucks. And I decided, well, it's going to have to take the slow method six to eight business days and be shipped from California to Florida. So we're switching to memory. Okay, so I have here uh, this uh, Corsair memory, which uh, is a... Um, I talked about... Uh, well, I have 24... These are, these are uh, eight gigabyte sticks. And so 16... Let's see, are these 8 gigabyte sticks? Hmm. Or are they 4 gigabyte? Seems to me that this is 24 gigs of RAM. So 8, 16, 24. Um, <clears throat> I believe that they're 4 gigabyte sticks. And uh, I had originally bought them for my other computer. And uh, then I found that when I put the last two in, uh, that every time, no matter what I did, when I put the last two in, that it didn't work right. And it, it boiled down to the fact that um, I didn't have them in numerical sim serial order, serial number order. And so I've got the old RAM back in my uh, the machine because I'm going to use this as faster. Uh, and uh, I'm going to use it in here. This will be something that I'll upgrade later. Along with, ooh, a lot of you have talked about the, the fact of why have I gone with the GTX 570 uh, uh, video card when I should be up in the 600 series and uh, the answer is I bought it for my other machine which only did PCIe 2 this does PCIe 3 but I wasn't going to go and buy another video card I'm using some of the parts from my old machine in the new machine here to keep costs down and then I will upgrade at a later point uh, a few of these items like the memory I'll probably whenever they come out with fastest memory I'll, I'll upgrade to that and uh, then another video card later, and may even SLI it later, uh, but not until XSplit supports SLI, which it doesn't currently, and I've got fine enough frame rates as it is. So, okay, now uh, the memory in, in the, the motherboard here is, uh, let's see here, I've got a little uh, thing here that shows uh, the DIMM numbers and it uh, is so that um, well basically I have to put them in in the proper order and so it goes like this and DIMM number one is going to go all the way at the top and so I'm going to put the lowest serial number in there and I have these all in order so it's going to be this one. Now uh, a couple of people objected to uh, my saying that serial number mattered. And um, so now I wish that these were, um, I, I figured that it probably didn't matter anymore, uh, but 
what I found was when I put it in the other system that it did matter. And these are these are in order, but they're not they're not sequential in the fact that uh, I am missing some uh, in between. And so uh, I hope that this works. If not, I'll end up having to buy more memory, and that's really going to suck. Uh, or I'll just limp along for a little bit uh, on lower amount of memory when it doesn't matter. But when I put all the sticks in, it 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 mattered, and so. Uh, hopefully in this machine it won't matter. We shall find out. Uh, previously, in the old days, it really mattered a lot. And, um, and you always bought them in pairs. You never considered doing anything but pairs. So, now, there's also some other comments that I've seen on some of the videos so far, which is that you should discharge yourself on the case uh, whenever, uh, before you touch anything, to uh, remove static electricity. Well, the answer to that is yes, very good advice, but also that the case has to be plugged in for that to work and it has to be grounded. This case, the uh, power supply is back here, it is not plugged in. So uh, it doesn't matter. Now I haven't worried about it too much because of my environment here. Uh, I'm in uh, Florida, it's very, very humid, I live on a lake. Uh, hence all of the uh, light here on everything that's just bugging the crap out of me. I'm gonna have to get some dark cover for this window. Uh, and uh, so uh, I haven't worried about it too much because I just don't have that kind of issue here, but other locations where it freezes or in the desert. Um, either one of them can be considered a desert. I don't know if you know this, but like the South Pole is considered a desert um, because it is so dry there. It just happens that all of the moisture is frozen and that's what makes it so dry. Uh, so anyway, okay, so we're going to put these uh, dims in and uh, I'm going to put them in in the order that it says here in numerical order and um, I'll show you here how this is done a little bit about this. Um, I'm not going to be able to get a very good angle on this uh, for uh, you know showing it but I can zoom in here and um, so you'll be able to see it just a little bit better. Okay, so these, uh, these fan wires, gonna get them out of the way. And okay, now you can see the dim here and you can see the socket here and you'll see that there is a notch in here making this, it's not right in the middle. And uh, so in here, this tells you the polarity, the way that it needs to go in. And so, yeah, I gotta lift all of these up. Um, so that we can fit these in. These are the key, these like lock it down and the first dim is going to go in right here. Now you make sure that you've got both the top and the bottom of it the, the lined up in the socket. If you're doing this in the dark or you're feeling your way you will commonly have them cockeye. You'll have it just out just like this. That does not work very well especially when you push hard to push it in. Now, I have all of my screws in here, all of my, um, everything is screwed down really tight and it'll be able to withstand me putting pressure to push this in. Uh, some people say that you're supposed to do it before the CPU and the memory before you mount the motherboard. I disagree. I don't think that you have to do that. Um, as long as you have all of the mounts in place, I have every single possible mount used. So now I've got this in here and I'm gonna push it just to, you know, I just push it with my thumb here, all along here, so it's even pressure all the way down, and you heard the two snaps as that went in. So now I'm gonna put the second one in, and um, so anyway, they, they snap out really easy. In fact, let me show you how to take this back out. If you needed to get it back out because you got it in cockeye or something like that, you just basically uh, push these, and you can lift it back out. So that is how you put the memory in. Okay, so I'm gonna get uh, this memory all in and then uh, that we won't be able to fire it up to know whether or not um, everything is successful until all of this memory is, um, is in. So Okay, and just making sure that this is the next one in line. It is. 
So getting it lined up here. You can see here how it could be, you know, you could get it. And I hold the back of this whole thing whenever I push. See, there they go in. It's nice and easy. Okay. So now dim number three goes all the way at the bottom. These are not in a normal normal numerical order. It's kind of uh, out of order. But I'm reading off the list, and I'm going to trust what the list says. And uh, so it says that dim number three goes in up here, and that's what I'm going to do. Okay, that one is not, Jesus Christ, Marcus C. Now, okay, even I make mistakes. I had it upside down, and that's why it wasn't going in. I didn't realize that they flipped this whole bank here, and that's why it's... Uh, looking funky why why it uh, looked like it was out of order so but they will pop in if they're not the right way and uh, I didn't push it hard enough to cause any damage so I know better than to try and force something okay now those are in now I've got two more to put in and we're gonna put in five and six and they're gonna go five and six up here so, um, they should be in pairs all the time. Not all of them need pairs, but there's dual channels of uh, data um, or multiple channels of data, and it's just better if you do them in pairs. Uh, some, I don't know if these require pairs or not. There are some systems that do not require pairs. Could have to do with the CPU and everything, but you may have decreased functionality if you don't do them in pairs. So. Okay, so there we go, and that just does not feel right. That's all the way in, but there's not a very big space here in between these two. I guess it's just the way that these are made. So there's a bigger space in between these, that, that, but in between these there's a bigger space than in here. And I guess that's just the way it is. It is down all the way in there. So, okay, the next video will be me actually putting in uh, the cooler and uh, then uh, and save these. These, these, come, these are what the memory come in. You want to save these because um, later on you may uh, need to pull out the memory for whatever reason and uh, uh, you may want them. So. Um, don't throw them away because you don't want to have memory just laying around. And uh, so that's it for this episode. Uh, pretty easy to install memory. Uh, there's a link in the description to the memory that I purchased, the exact memory that I purchased. And um, then, uh, you know, if you need memory or whatnot, you can check that out. Uh, I bought something that wasn't the cheapest, uh, I did buy a brand name. Uh, and, uh, and I did that intentionally uh, because uh, uh, there are some items with, um, with memory that you just want a little bit higher quality, and that's what I wanted. So um, I, I don't want to screw around with memory. I don't want any memory errors. Um, you know, there's a lot of cheaper memory out there that may work okay, but uh, running this, uh, you know, high end of a machine, uh, you want to, um, well, you want to respect that with having quality parts all the way through. Anyway, I'm Marky Dragon. Take care. If you made it this far in the video, you may as well subscribe. That's what I want you to do. You obviously liked it well enough to watch it this far. So look at this, this is Frostmorn, this is a Runes of Magic Sword. This Runes of Magic Sword is one that we're giving away as second prize to one of you subscribers, just for being subscribed. That's all you have to do, it's subscribe and accept our messages or watch our videos where we draw for prizes. So this one is a, it's a really nice sword. It's uh, signed by some of the American uh, ja staff for Runes of Magic. And then there's the big boy here. I got it on my shoulder because it's so darn heavy. You know, the sucker is 16 pounds. Look at this. So it's a two-handed sword here, man. 
This is a beautiful sword. And we're giving this away when we hit 42,500 subscribers. It could be you. So, just subscribe, that's all you have to do. We'll do videos, selecting the winners, and we'll send you a message in YouTube as long as you accept it. Just make sure you accept messages from us. To do that, put us on your contact list. And you just add Marky Dragon to your contact list, and then you'll be able to get messages from us, and you'll have 30 days to get back to us when we send you a message, or if we can't message you, you'll just be on video, and you just gotta watch the video and then contact us. So anyway, if you made it this far, you really should subscribe. Uh, and I would appreciate it. So. Yeah.